Hello guys, welcome you all to my YouTube channel. How many of you know the reason behind this package lock JSON file? If you do npm install, there's a one file getting generated always that is package lock JSON file. Do you know why this package lock JSON file used for? Do you know the reason behind this package lock JSON file? So if you don't know, then this video for you. Then without much more talk, let's dive into the video. So first of all, I want to tell you, so if someone is giving you a project, so that is a package JSON file also include, what you are normally doing is, you are just taking and do npm install command and install the dependency. So after that only you are running your project, right? In this video, I will show you one of the demo and through that I will explain you why we need this package JSON and what is the reason behind this package lock JSON file. And everything right it, this is a simple project which i have developed for uh, my own project this is my one of the own project source file and uh, you can see in here we don't have any node modules node directories not there and package lock also not there package lock json also not there after if i install npm install command right then what happen is once you hit enter this command npm install after that you will get create uh, one of the directory called node module and package lock json file right so i will show you in a minute couple of minutes it will taking a little bit of time to getting install the zip dependencies okay now you can see package lock json is getting created and the same uh, there is a one uh, one directory also getting created that is node module so let me open first of all this package JSON file and I will explain you what is the uh, purpose we are using package JSON. Package JSON is a file basically include all the dev dependencies and dependencies. So dev dependencies means if you are running this project you need to install these kind of packages. So that is what we call dev dependency. Dependency means that if the project is required, uh, if something is required for that particular project, so that is must to install that particular dependency. So in here, I'm only use this dev dependency. So package, package JSON is the uh, one holding all the package information. What are the uh, packages should required for run this project? In this project, you can see basically, I can say this is a meta. It's a metaphor run the project. So in the dev dependencies here, you can see uh, I have five packages you must need to install uh, for run this uh, project, right? Let me open this package lock uh, JSON. Package lock JSON is basically, if you do npm install, that time only this uh, package lock JSON is getting created. So this guy based on the package JSON getting installed the packages, right? So those versions getting entered to this package lock version. Basically, this is a lock file. Uh, right now you can see the prefix version we are using is 10.4.12. You can see what are the package we are uh, installed. I will show you a top prefix uh, getting installed. You can see the latest version is 10.4.12. Likewise, uh, we have installed this uh, node SAS. Uh, if I search this node SAS, you can see, uh, let me open uh, SAS. So you can see the SAS version is getting installed. Likewise, you can see all the uh, install packages details in the package lock JSON file. Why we need this package lock JSON file is once we done the npm install command, this guy is what, what is the version we install that is keep everything in package lock JSON file. So if you do next time npm install, that will be not getting uh, from the package JSON. Instead of that, this guy is checking the package lock uh, version JSON file and getting installed the same uh, version which you have before. Uh, and one more thing I will show you, the node module also getting generated here. So if I expand a node module, you can see a bunch of uh, uh, directories getting uh, created here. Uh, so we can see a node module, there are so many file getting installed after do npm install. So if someone uh, sharing your source file, so node module and the uh, package lock is sometime include, but node module is not included in your source file. So instead of that, you need to do the npm install command and get it installed your uh, uh, node module package. So then only you can run your project, right? So I will show you what is the purpose of this package uh, lock uh, JSON file. For this purpose, I'm going to uh, upgrade the auto prefix with the latest one. So I'm going to uh, use this uh, uh, caret symbol. So let me 
at this caret symbol. So after I do this caret symbol, I'm going to do npm install command. So one more thing I need to show you that you can see in the auto prefix is one of the uh, package I have used for my project. So you can see the latest version is 10.4.13 but in here in the package lock uh, version let me revert these changes in the package lock version you can see i have used 10.4.12 if i go to package lock version and i am checking this auto prefix up, you can see 10.4.12 is the version we used uh, for this auto prefix version so this is this is already entered in the package lock json file so now uh, i'm going to use this caret symbol caret up symbol so if I do this one and if I do the npm install, what do you think? Is that going to install the uh, latest one? So normally why this uh, caret symbol, I will explain you that as well. If uh, if someone is, uh, if in your package JSON file, if you are seeing this kind of a caret symbol, the caret symbol, so that's mean if someone is doing npm install, it will getting always install the latest version of this package. So that is the only reason using this caret symbol. Right, so if I do this npm install, so let me do the npm install now, npm install. So in this time you can see, yeah, it's uh, getting installed, but when I go into package block uh, JSON file, you still see, we are still using this 10.4.1. So basically what we can say is, this is basically a cache. So even after you do npm install command, after changing your this caret symbol and all, this guy is always uh, preferring the existing version, which is uh, coming from the package block JSON right so basically package lock is always uh, generating a specific version of that particular package so that is the only reason why I use this package lock json and why this package lock json getting generated right so come back to the topic when i do the caret up symbol i already told you if i use this uh, caret up symbol it should be getting installed latest version of the package right but after we doing npm install command, so this is not getting uh, installed, right? So let me remove this package lock file, right? And uh, delete this node module. And now if I do npm install command, okay, now you can see once again, this node module and the package lock is getting generated. So if I open this package lock and if I search this auto prefix or so now you can see the latest version 10.4.13 is getting installed. This is the thing keep in mind. When you are sharing your source file with someone, if you are not include this package lock JSON file with your source file, it will be problematic. So because you are developing something with the specific version, uh, right? If we are sharing this source file with someone, if you are delete this package lock JSON file, then uh, the one who uh, get that uh, source file and if they are doing npm install at that time they, they will getting installed the late, latest package so it will be getting conflict sometimes the issue is reproducible in your code but uh, if you are the one who share with someone the one who don't have this package lock version if they do npm install and if uh, suppose if they are going to reproduce that issue then that time sometimes the issue is not reproducible because they are getting installed with the latest package so that is there so keep that in mind if you are sharing your source file with someone don't forget to include your package json file and the package lock json file and also guys if you are installing uh, new packages then so package lock also getting automatically updated so keep that in mind so that is the normal behavior of npm install if you are modify something in the package json file you must need to remove this package lock json file and the node module otherwise it always you are always end up with the existing oldest version so keep that in mind so guys so i hope you will understand very clearly and uh, learn something new here right guys before ending this video i have a small request to you if possible please go below and hit the subscribe button and the like button and uh, hit the bell button also then guys uh, i will catch you on new video bye